Hey guys, it's Valkyrie, and welcome to my guide to patch 315. If you're unfamiliar with how I do my patch guides, I talk about champions, and I put them in a category from god tier to underpowered. And it's just a good way for me to tell you how strong I think they are in solo queue, and how strong they perform. Fiddle6 was previously in my god tier list for a good reason. I mean, he was incredibly powerful, he's being picked more frequently on support. But unfortunately this patch, he received nerfs to his fear, and it went from 3 to... 2.25 at the max duration and this was deserved because I mean a three second fear was pretty ridiculous so I agree that he definitely needed to get nerfed in that area the problem is the current meta in this current patch isn't favorable for fiddlesticks support fiddlesticks isn't as great because there are a lot of new supports that have come into play that are good against fiddlesticks jungle fiddlesticks is not as forgiving because of how you know, the new jungle is a little bit more difficult. Counter jungling is much more effective if you do it correctly against Fiddlesticks. I haven't seen very many Fiddlesticks players perform very well when I've played Fiddlesticks, and it doesn't feel quite right this patch, especially with the nerfs. They did change his Crow Storm to have a flat mana cost of 100 across the board, and that feels nice. But the problem is the fear was the bread and butter of Fiddlesticks' defensive and off offensive potential. So... When you nerf it because the offensive potential on the fear was too strong, you're hurting his defensive potential as well. So I removed Fiddlesticks from God's here, but I still think he's pretty strong. Ari had her base mana across the board increased, and it's pretty great because during laning phase, Ari was getting out shoved by a lot of matchups, and she wasn't able to really be that force, that assassin early in the game. She would ramp up to that when you get DFG, but this mana... She, they basically improved her laning early, and it's definitely a good thing because Ari was hurting in that area. The problem with Ari is she's so much skill-based now. She's more skill-based than she, she has ever been in the, since the, the change to her charm. Her charm has the loaded damage, um, so if you miss the charm, you're not going to be doing as much damage on Ari. So I suggest steering away from Ari unless you feel really comfortable laning all of her skill shots. Lucian was previously god tier, and he's still god tier this patch. The nerfs were very minor, so to speak, because he's still pretty much the best AD carry for laning phase and mid game for solo queue. He's incredibly powerful. He just steamrolls lanes if you do it correctly. So Lucian is still god tier. Support Lulu received some nice buffs. They increased the base damage on her passive. They increased the base dam the base shield uh, strength of her help picks, which is her E. And they changed her wild growth to have a flat mana cost of 100, and that seems to be a recurring factor for most champions. They're changing their ultimates to have 100 mana at all ranks, and that's really nice. Lulu before was still a solid choice bottom lane, but these buffs are definitely going to steer her in the right direction of being one of the top supports. Ramus unfortunately received a pretty heavy nerf as well. Ramus' bread and butter was the puncturing taunt, the E, the taunt. It went from 3 seconds to 2.25, just like Fiddlesticks. They felt like the 3 second CC was too strong, and it definitely was. The problem is, Ramus and Fiddlesticks were very dependent upon that to lock down targets and get kills. Now, Ramus and Fiddlesticks are still viable, but they're just not as strong. Sivir received some nerfs as well, but the thing is, her kit flows so well together that even if they just change the numbers, she's still going to be pretty strong. Her ultimate is still one of the best ultimates for solo queue, because you just pop your ultimate, everyone's stronger, faster, and you just run around and get kills. I mean, it's just the basics of solo queue. You can escape with it, you can catch people with it. She's still very strong. I had her god tier before, and I still think she's god tier, even though these nerfs kind of toned down her strength. She's still very, very powerful. Tarek was previously on my god tier list, even though I didn't do a list last patch. I should have, but I didn't. His passive and his W got toned down by a huge amount. Previously, last patch, Tarek could just build nothing but armor and cooldown reduction and just solo down squishy targets while being almost unkillable to AD champions. He was very, very strong. Unfortunately, Riot felt like that was too much for support, and I definitely agree with that, but it was fun while it lasted. I have Tarek down as just strong right now, but he was previously god tier. Janna, her mana cost and her ultimate is 100 flat now, which is really nice for her. Lee Sin had a nerf to safeguard. It now only shields allied champions. This means you can't shield a minion and try to deny CS to someone or something like that to throw off their last hitting. Soraka received some nice little early game buffs. She was previously one of the squishiest supports in the game, but these buffs are going to help her out early in the game. Garen had a change to his E. It no longer deals reduced damage to monsters, but it still does reduce damage to minions. This just means if you want to play jungle Garen, you can play jungle Garen. 
I'm going to have a separate video on Yasuo because it's frankly going to be a separate section that I'm going to talk about. So we'll leave that for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. I stream on twitch.tv slash Valkyrian, also on YouTube Live. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want to see when I'm streaming or when I post content and whatnot. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.